able to find me. How would I know how to go live? When you go to my page, mm -hmm. scroll down until you see post, and it'll say, it'll be like, it'll oh, okay. show live. Do you see it? I'm not Hi everyone. I don't know if you can see me or not. We're trying to get everything set up for live today. So go to Jen's Den. Hi everyone. Hang tight. Hey Logan. Hey Anel. We are troubleshooting and finding our live broadcast on our on our um, devices <coughs> so, I knew how to go live. so we can join in the fun okay got it all right let me show you how to do it scroll down I'm gonna keep on scrolling down refresh Fresh. Yeah, like just hit the air, that that thing right there. Okay. Yeah, that. And then go back to my page. Look, you see that live right there? Yeah. That post. So we hit live. It looks like it's just um, slow. We're having bad internet connection. Oh, I see. Oh yeah. Hey Paula. Yeah. You got, you got it. it? Yeah. Okay, so there's a way that you, yeah, and you can, um, yeah, there you go, and you can see comments. Do you see how you can see comments? <laughs> there's Mike, Michael. Hey guys, we are just getting set up to go live. Can you see me? I don't know if you can see me. I'm gonna set up my uh, my camera up here. Yeah, you can see me. Hey. All right. So, tonight is a very fun episode. Let me get my my <clears throat> camera all set up for you guys on my tripod. Paula Goodrie says she's live. Give it a minute to get live. Okay. Hey, Jessica, let me try this again. I'm trying to set up my painting here. Uh, all right. Now, you should be able to see what I'm going to be doing. So, thank you all for joining us. I'm getting all set up right now for my wonderful painting. Tonight we are going to be painting, and we have a lot to talk about. We're going to be painting a church. You know, this time of the year, people start getting ready for Mardi Gras, and, well, if you're from Louisiana, people start, I see that I'm very blurry, so let me see if I can fix this. People start getting ready for Mardi Gras, and springtime, although we're still in 30 degrees over here, we're going to pretend that it's close to springtime, even though it's not. I just got this new um, addition to my phone for videos, and I might have to take it off because it doesn't look like it's working. Let's see if that's better. Yep, I'm going to have to take it off. I don't know how to use it yet, so... Let me go back up. So, Michael, introduce yourself. Tell them who you are. So, I am your husband, Michael. <laughs> um, and I am here to support you. And also, uh, I work as a therapist at a VA hospital in Montana. So, if you're wondering why we're on tonight together, is because... I am opening the doors to my Jin's Den Art Tribe. 
coming up here in the next week on February 1st. And one of the components of the monthly subscription is the fact that, can you close that door, mm -hmm. baby? Is the fact that um, every month you will get a package of items on my website. Everything's gonna be digital. It's gonna be video tutorials for paintings, three video tutorials. But you're also gonna have, um, and they're, they're different levels, and we're gonna call them, what did we say we are gonna call them? Uh, diamond. Diamond ruby, level painting, a ruby level painting, and an emerald level painting. Right. So each one is gonna be a different, um, what, help me out here with words. Well, it's gonna be a different um, uh, view of, of art, in a sense of, Art that takes a lot of effort and a, and a little bit of time, and art that is uh, something that can be done quick, easy, and uh, but still give you that sense of well-being. Yes. So we have three different levels each month, and um, one one of the additional components of the membership will be um, a live chat with Mike and Jen once a month. And the reason why I added this component to the monthly subscription is because I, well, basically, Michael is my helper when it comes to having struggles in my life. And we all end up having some times when, you know, things are difficult. And not that I want this, this whole thing to be, you know, focus on difficult times. That's the last thing I want. But I want it to be an area of opportunity where you can feel uplifted and feel like maybe you you um, spent some time talking about some things that maybe you wouldn't normally talk about. And Michael's here to just kind of, I don't know, counsel us. Oh. I don't want to say, you know, but also in a sense of using art at the same time. So just a little off track. What I'm doing right now is making this whole thing fall down on my painting. And can you see comments by the way? I can see the few comments that people have given. Yep. Okay. And what have they said so far? Well, Danielle said hello. Paula Giddy said hello. Love your new place. Thank you. I replied to Paula. You don't have to reply. We can just talk oh. through it. Okay. Well, I, it was kind of fun to reply. Okay. Well, you can reply if you want Donna to reply. Donna LaCour just joined. Great last name, by the way. Yeah, Donna. I know, huh? You think we were related or something? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, again, I'm painting this church, and the first thing I'm going to do... And we're going to talk in and out of, of this while we go. First thing I'm doing is I'm using a palette knife just because I love palette knives. That's the only reason. And I'm using like a kind of like a, um, a white and a beige color for my background of my church. So, oh, and something else I want to tell y'all is... Angela Bajeron is on. Hi, Angela. Wow. Um, is that somebody you know? Yes. Oh, it's okay. That I made a very special connection with when I assisted uh, her and her husband and her young son um, with their son Bradley. Mm mm. Yeah. Oh my art. goodness! Wow. Yeah. That, my okay. My heart was has just been blessed. Oh, that's so <clears> sweet. <throat> Um, are you sure it's the same person? I have no idea if it is, and if it is not, Angela, I am sorry, but if you are the same person, Angela, wow. And April Ray said hello. Hi, April. Okay, so a couple of things. I'm, I'm gonna, we're gonna jump in and out of talking with Michael and talking with me about this painting. So, I am using a wood panel today because I wanted to show y'all how you can use a wood panel to do paintings. And this is an eight by 10. And it works a lot different than a canvas. It absorbs the paint a lot. Like the paint just kind of like seeps through the wood. But believe it or not, I guess because of the trend these days, it's one of my most um, 
popular types of painting material to paint on is my wood. So um, I wanted to show you tonight how I use it to paint on it. What you typing? I am typing Angela. It is Angela. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm starting my background here. And we don't want to get too much off track. So you with me, Michael? Yep, I am. And it looks good so far. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I asked him to paint with me, and he didn't want to paint with me tonight. He said no. He's here to just be moral support for us, not to paint. Yeah, I want to be a moderator, and I'd like to uh, throw in <laughs> some uh, comments every now and then as it pertains to mental health and whatever. And but I don't want to take away from the painting. So. Yeah, don't don't take away from my painting yes, now. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We're doing the background. I'm adding a little bit of gray. I'm adding a little bit of. Um, green very little though I don't want to use a lot of green so that my friends is gonna be my background it's a little messy but you know if you know anything about me <laughs> messy is my middle name huh babe I like it <laughs> <laughs> I noticed some of y'all who joined the free Facebook group you um you commented that one of your fears was um, learning how to be a messy painter, which is true because I'm kind of a messy painter. If you look at my paintings, they all have that kind of like that abstract look to them. So you're in the right place if you want to learn how to paint messy, huh, babe? That's right. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go with this, and I know a lot of places say don't use your finger, but I'm going to use my finger just to add a little bit of softness to some of the areas around what I'm doing. Okay, and if y'all have any questions, just let me know. Again, we're just giving you a snippet of what it would be like to have a night to chat with Mike and Jen. And um, I decided on the fly today that I am opening my membership on February 1st because I've had a lot of people ask to join, but um, I'm not open yet. So I figured, you know what? There's no time better than the present because, you know, I keep on saying, oh, I have to have it perfect. I have to have it perfect. I'm still working on my website. And Michael, my website's still not great, but you know what? I'm going to go for it. What I do you agree. think? Um, you know, life is about making mistakes. Right? Here's my pitch of therapy. Life is about making mistakes. And it's also about learning from mistakes and bettering yourself. And I think that's what we're doing. Amen. So, how is... He just got home from work. That's why I had to wait until um, 6.30 to start this. Because I had to wait for him to come home. So, how was your day at work? So it was good. It was good. Um, as most people can, can attest to, uh, work can be a wonderful thing. It's all about the mindset, or it can be just a miserable experience. And so today was a wonderful thing for me. Tomorrow may be a miserable experience. So Really? Well, you never know. You never know. And so it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a wave, and you got to take it as it comes. I hear you. Okay. So back to my painting. The bottom of the painting, I'm trying to keep this painting very muted. And by muted, I mean I'm using a palette. You can already see I have a mess. I'm using a palette that is very, um, that the colors are very light. So I like to add gray to my colors, and it always gives, especially my green, it gives my green that really pretty olive color. So, so far, the only colors that I've attacked is, um, it's kind of like a beige color. Say hello, Anna Lacaz. Hi, Anna. <laughs> it's kind of like a beige color, 
um, a white and a green. And I don't give you specific colors when I explain things because I want you to decide what color green you like the best, what color beige you like the best, because this is something that you're painting. It's not for me, it's for you. So I'll give you an idea of what colors I use, but I'm, I'm not going to give you the exact color. So that's just something I wanted to throw out there. I'm going to go back to my palette knife for just a minute, and I'm going to start working on the bottom of the painting. And in the bottom of the painting, I'm going to stay more towards the light brownish area. So I'm just going to put a light coat of, this is a brown. If you wanted to use the same color that I'm using, um, it's a folk art and it is called linen. So we're working with linen. Now y'all, I have to share something with y'all. I have been working so hard on this website, which is driving me crazy, that I have not had a chance to paint. And right now, this is the first time I paint in like two or three days. Um, the last thing I painted was the hydrangeas that I shared with y'all. So I'm really, I feel really good right now. <laughs> That's not the wine talking. No, nope, no wine in this broadcast. Okay, so any comments or questions or anything, ma'am? Everybody? Nope, we've gotten up to 17 people watching, though, by the way. And I don't know if you have to, like, refresh to see the comments, or they just come up. Uh, they just come up. Okay, awesome. All right, so anyway, um, back to our membership group. So the doors are going to open on February 1st and y'all can already go on the website and see a lot of information if you have questions. Um, the actual subscription page is not open yet. That will become live when we go live. So um, the subscription page will have two options and we'll talk about that some more in a minute. Can you say hello to April Ray? Hey, April Ray. How are you today? Okay. Oh, and if y'all don't mind, please share this video so we can get some more interested people because I really want to grow this into something that we can have so much fun. I'm so excited to have this. Y'all have no idea. I talk about it all the time, huh, Michael? That's right. <laughs> so, Natasha Grimion just joined. Thank you, Natasha. Hey, Natasha. Natasha paints a lot, too. I know really? I, I follow her. Yeah. Okay, so this is what I'm using. I'm using a, I call it a medium round brush. And I use round brushes a lot. So I'm going to dip my round brush in. I'm going to start actually with the white. And I'm going to make my outline for my church. So forget I did that. I'm going to go back to my white. All right, and this is what my church is going to look like. Just a very basic outline of it. So this is going to be the back side of the church. And then it's going to come up like this. And then here's going to be the steeple. So, baby girl, there's a lag when I'm looking at it. Is, mm -hmm. is it live for them, or is it they do they have the same lag? They have the same lag. Okay. That's normal with Facebook Lives. Okay. And. It doesn't help that we're up in the mountains, and so our internet service, you know, probably makes things a little slower going through. Did it snow today? It did. Mm. Not a lot. Right. But it did snow. Okay. Okay, so 
I'm going to try to make the end of this side of the church the same as this side. So I'm going to go down about right here. I'm not sure if that's what I want, but I'm going to start with it. All right, I'm going to need some kind of like a, a bronze color. Let me see where my bronze color is. So, I hope everyone's enjoying uh, so far what's going on. Uh, each one that we do, we're going to um, be answering questions that you may have as we go. I'll relate them to Ginger. Um, and without trying to sound too corny with my country accent, um, I'll try to throw some tidbits of information out there uh, in hopes that, that, that life will be taken uh, on, a, on a less serious level, but serious enough to where we can understand that we need to have a good time enjoying one another as friends and family. All right, so I added a little bit of, thank you for that, Michael. Mm -hmm. I added a little bit of the, um, like a, it's almost like a bronze color to my paintbrush. It's like, it's just a brown. It's a burnt sienna. There we go. That's a good name for it. It's a burnt sienna. Can you see it all right? Who, me? Am I off the... No, no. Well, uh, you, you, yeah, it seems like you need to scoop the, the, the canvas over a little to your right. Okay, I just did. All right. I'm not doing good here today. Oh, I think you're doing fine. I need to come down... I need to make myself a better um, outline. There you go. Yep. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to make myself a better outline. I feel like my church is crooked already. Ray so... Sheets Blue joined. Hey, Ray. Ray likes arts and crafts too. I taught her daughter math, not painting. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's good stuff. All right, I am trying to make myself a little better outline here. So this is going to be the side of my church. This is going to be the roof. I'm going to fix that completely in just a minute. This is going to be part of the, the steeple that comes down in the front. This is going to be another part of the steeple. You see, this is the first time we do a um, chat with Mike and Jen, so... I'm realizing already that I I need to focus a little more on my painting and not on everything that Michael is saying or typing. Typing, yeah. I have not typed so, any curse words. None? None. Mm, that's pretty so, good. Being military, dude, I know how that is. I hear Mimi outside the door. Sugar wants to come in. Let's let her in. Let's make this a little bit longer because I feel like my church is squished. So I'm gonna make this a little bit longer. And then now I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna fill in my church with white because I feel like I have a good outline now for my church. So I'm taking my medium paintbrush. Now you can take a palette knife too and um, I'm purposely not using a palette knife right now because I did not advertise this as being a palette knife painting. I advertised it as being a, um, a paintbrush painting. So I am adding in my white. Notice how much paint I'm using to do this. I have a lot of paint on my brush. I am not skimpy when it comes to paint at all. Because I, again, just to know a little bit more about my painting style, I like to use texture in my paintings. So that means I use a lot of paint and I use heavy body acrylics when I do that to get that texture. 
So there's something about that country flair because my style is country. What is your style? Anybody want to share their style? Mine is like that farmhouse country style. And um, this, this kind of style here in painting lends itself well to that. So that's why I kind of kind of went with it when I first started learning how to paint. So I'm just coloring everything in. I say color, but I'm really painting. I'm painting everything in white. As white as white can be. I use titanium white for all of my whites. So that's what I'm going for here. And y'all, I wanted to share something else with you. This is not even related to the membership group. This is just something that I started doing that has been like so, it's so much fun and everyone enjoys it and I enjoy it. I enjoy painting as well. What I do is I have a photo contest. I don't know if y'all saw it yet, but it's on um, my Facebook page, Jen's Den. And that photo contest is on a spring theme so the way it works i've done it like four times already the last one poor thing she had to wait like four months for me to paint her painting because we were in the middle of a move across the country but basically what i do is i ask you to submit a photo a personal photo to my facebook page and um it has to have a theme to it, and the theme this time is springtime, but that's like a really broad theme. So springtime could be, it could be Easter, it could be Mardi Gras, it could be um, flowers blooming, it could be new, I don't know, what else, Michael? Um, it could be new animals that are being born, it could be yep, that's birds. What I was about to say. You know, and their nest or, you know, something like that. But it has to be a picture that represents springtime. And it has to be one that comes from your photographs. Most of us have a ton of pictures on our phone. So we can just pick one up from our phone. It has to be a personal photo. It cannot be something that you grabbed from the internet. Raylan. Raylan said hello. Hi, Raylene. How are you? I remember Raylene. I remember teaching her Algebra 1. Huh, Raylene? Is that the same Raylene? Raylene loves dance. What? Maybe that's her, I mean, maybe that's like her handle. Loves dance. Okay, that dancer? might not be the, no, that might not be the same Raylene. Well, this Raylene may love to dance. Okay, well, you might be a different Raylene then. Or she may have a beautiful Native American name. <laughs> okay, so, um, so if you go in my Facebook page, you will find the post. It says, I don't know, what does it say, baby? We could put it in the links to um, photo contests for the spring. And so what you do is you submit your photo. I'm taking photos until Thursday at noon. And you submit your photos underneath that post. I don't know if you saw that yet. I didn't you? see that. Yeah, I'm, I, don't, I don't really... I don't really know what you're you're speaking. <laughs> yeah, I didn't tell you. You know how I've done the photo contest before, yes. and that's how I painted the swamp scene, and that's how I painted I like that one right there. That's how I painted that one. Yep. Okay, so I'm doing another one. I just started it. So this one's gonna be um, a spring theme, and what happens <laughs> is I'm sorry, Raylene said I barely got through college math, but yes, I love to dance. <laughs> So, awesome, Raylan. <laughs> You're my type of person. That's why I majored in psychology. <laughs> okay, you must be a different Raylan then. Yeah. It might be someone I know. <laughs> so, um, so what was I saying? So, you were talking about the art photos. The uh, art photo contest. Yeah. So, what happens is, I'm going to start on my roof here. Um... You enter the contest by entering your picture 
just posting it to the comments. And then after Thursday at noon, I'm going to create an album of all of the photos that were entered. And then I'm going to resubmit or repost in the album all of the photos. And then what you're going to do, and I'm going to number them. And what you're going to do is you're going to vote by liking the photos. And the one with the most likes is going to be the winner. And what the winner means is you are going to, I'm going to paint your, your photo. You are going to get a free print of the photo on an 11 by 14 canvas, which is about $125. Um, it's worth about $125. The original photo is going to be sold at Revival Art House because I do sell my items there. So you can, you know, you have the option to purchase the original photo as well. But um, you will get a print, which I love the prints. I use a company that prints my stuff for me and they come out really, really good. So. Anyway, send your photos. There are already some gorgeous ones in my Facebook page. If you look, oh my gosh, uh, there's more than one I already want to paint, but um, I'm just going to paint the winner. So just submit your photos and we'll decide which one we're painting. And that painting is going to be part of my Jen's Den tribe group. So getting back to the group... Let's talk about the what you get when you become a member of the group. So it's basically your it's a monthly package that you're gonna get. Right. And and we said that it was um there's no comments, baby. Nobody's commenting yet. People might be painting. Oh. I hope you so are I painting. <laughs> I just feel like we should have comments or maybe nobody's asking questions yet. Um, so the first thing you're going to get is what we have decided to call a diamond painting tutorial. And a diamond painting is a fine art painting tutorial. It will take you more than one day to paint it. It is going to be something painted on canvas a 16 by 20 or an 18 by 24 canvas and it's going to take about what three videos probably before you get through the whole thing each video is going to be about 45 minutes in length mm -hmm. and it'll take you more than one day to paint it. I just made a video for the Art Tribe just like that the other day. And um, so I'm starting to build up my uh, library of tutorials. So that is one part of the monthly subscription. What is another part, Michael? Do you remember? Well, I mean, you put me on the spot. Um, oh, thank you. So now I have this piece of paper. <laughs> so you just mentioned the fine art painting. Yes. And so also you have a painting tutorial. Uh, oh, and that's going to be called, what did we say it's going to be called? Uh, um, instead of the diamond, it's going to be the ruby. The yeah. ruby painting. So yeah. once a month, you'll get a ruby painting. And this is this is a 30-minute session. On either a 12 by 12 or 11 by 14 canvas. Mm -hmm. And it will be start to finish. So yeah. when you start that night with that painting, you will finish that evening. You will have a completed work. Yes. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. All right. So you'll get a, a diamond series painting. Which is a fine art painting mm -hmm. on a big canvas. You'll get a um, ruby is that what we called it? Yeah. Ruby? Yeah. 30-minute session. Okay. Smaller canvas. Mm, anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. There you go. But it'll be on a smaller canvas. Start to finish. Start to finish. And then um, the third painting will be... This is my favorite. So this is the art therapy session that you were talking about. It's going to be a live Yeah, yeah, video. yeah, yeah. 
Of just like this. Right. An eight by ten or either what you call what do you call it? A shelf sitter? Yes. You can't say that yes. two times real fast. Hold your no. tongue. No. <laughs> shelf yes. Sitter. So this is an example of the um what do we call it again? The sapphire Did we? painting. Yeah, oh, we said emerald. no, we said we were gonna do white, red, and blue. Oh yeah, that's right. Because, you know, my husband is a military army vet, so we're staying with the red, white, blue here. There you go. Okay, so, and we're going to have a chat yeah. well, about we got more. different we got things. More. We got more things that are happening. Yes, and then you also get... Well, you get 24-7 access to all the videos. Yes, and I want to talk to you about that. They are not YouTube videos. They are videos that I have edited and that I have downloaded to my website. So you will have access to them through the website. And so it's it's a private access to videos. It's not something that um, anyone else will see. They are videos only for the members. There you go. And they are downloadable. So like if you're on a trip to, um, you know, I don't know, an airplane trip or something, or if you're on a trip and you want to try to do things, you know, while you're not by your computer, you can still download them. Right on. That'd be pretty cool. You think anybody was gonna, would paint on an airplane? Probably not, huh? I think it'd be kind of crazy, but yeah. yeah <laughs> All right, so I'm... Um, still a few more things, Jen. Oh, what else do we give them for their monthly subscription? <laughs> so what else do we give them? So we give them live streaming and question answering. You know, anything that ranges from painting to to a mindset of what I think I wrote on the, uh, the, 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 the sell sheet of a mindset of contentment. Also give them access to the private Facebook group and, um, and some house cleaning videos. You remember what the house cleaning videos were? Yes, are? absolutely. Not I started making some of those. It's not about cleaning the house. All right, guys. So what I'm doing right now, I'm going to get back to that in a minute. Is By the way, Margo Townsley just sent us a picture that she snapped at her sister-in-law's uh, house. Uh -huh. Beautiful picture of a flower. <gasps> yeah, we're, we'll save that one because that, that might be something we might want to paint eventually. Yeah. That's, that's cool. Awesome. Um, so and Ray Lynn said uh, painting on the flight could be possible depending upon how long the flight is. <laughs> how true, Ray Lynn. <laughs> okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm taking a dark brown and I am going to make some tree trunks. I mean, just basic lines. That's all I'm doing because I want the background to look kind of like some woods. So I'm putting a tree trunk here. I'm putting another tree trunk here, and then another one here, and that might be good. All right, and then now I'm going to dig deep into my green. I'm going to show you how I'm making this green, because I don't have the color green in stock that I really want, so I'm going to take this, I don't know, it's just a green I had on the shelf. I had some dark gray here that I'm mixing it with. And you see that green and that gray just makes a beautiful olive color. Okay, and I'm still using my um, medium size round brush, which if you haven't bought your supplies yet in the next couple of days, I'm gonna have a link to all of the supplies that I use. Margo Townsley said, can't see the picture. Facebook blocked it. I don't know if anyone else has that issue. Yeah, let me know if anybody else has that issue. The picture, like the, the video of the, of oh, the no, church? Oh, I think the picture she sent. Oh, I'm well, sorry. She, can, she can put it on, um, like if she finds the post, that everybody's putting their pictures in, she can resubmit it there. Uh, yeah. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my brush and put a little bit more green because I want the green to be a darker color. I'm gonna add some black to it as well. Here, let me show you what I'm doing. I want it to be darker than my background and I just realized my background's pretty greenish. 
So I'm gonna make my trees even a darker green. Raylan's been consistent with us. She said, looks lovely from here. Yay, thank, thank you, you Raylan. All right. I, I didn't really do anything, but thank you. Yeah, you did. You are part of the conversation. Right. So look how easy this is. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just start at the top and make some little, almost like checks, check marks backwards. Okay, and I'm gonna do that again on the side here, down this little strip of tree. I'm gonna add some more paint to my brush. I'm gonna come here and do the same, a little bit higher. Now, this is gonna come in front of the church just mm. because nice tree. I want it to. So it's gonna make the tree look a lot closer up because it's coming in front of the church. That's our cat playing with something on the floor in my area over here. So Michael, mm -hmm. today I had a really stressful day. I just want to share it with you. Would you mind me sharing it with you? Nope. I mean, I don't mind you sharing it with me. I um, I'm still working on my website. Right. And I am in the process of setting up the payment system right. on the website. And yeah, I, I'm still having trouble getting everything to work right. But you know how I am. I just I just want to keep on working on it and working on it and not giving myself a break from it because sure. that's just how I work. But I know that you would tell me different. Am I right? Well, I, I, <clears throat> listen, I, 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 and, and you know, we've kind of had this conversation before, so this is, you know, not only for the benefit for Ginger, but for myself, but also for you guys. Um, I think it's a wonderful thing to have passion. I think it's a wonderful thing to express your passion, to invest time in it, and especially the people that you love, to have them support you in your passion. However, the name of the game is balance. Hmm. So you've got to have some type of balance so that your life is not that roller coaster ride. Uh, having purpose is a wonderful thing. In fact, that's one of the things that we'll talk about in the future is is, is really defining your purpose and, and not letting your purpose define you, uh, if that makes any sense. But no, I think your passion is great, and I think you should invest time in it. You've already got your family supporting you, so we're, we're, we're picking up slack where you normally feel like you've got to pick it up uh, and go for it. Kim Thomasy said, Ginger, you make this look so easy. Well, that's what I want to teach y'all how to do. And I want to say thank you, Kim. Because that was... Uh, Mimi just jumped up on the back of my chair and is on my head. <laughs> I decided I want to make this tree a little fatter and bigger. So I'm just adding a little bit. Just on the fly. I didn't like the way it was looking because it was looking kind of grim there. So, so what? Are you, so, yeah. So I have a very bad habit... Habit, I don't know if you want to call it habit or it's just my personality. I don't know. You would know exactly what to call it. Mm -hmm. But when I get my mind to something, I will not wash clothes. I will not take a shower. I will not cook. I will not do anything until I get it finished. Yeah, that and, part sucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that, and especially working from home, like I don't. I don't have an opportunity to walk away from my job from an office and then come home and forget about it. I work from home and I work from home 24 seven because it's like in my mind all the time. And so I wanna, I wanna get better at that because I'm really bad about Listen, I think, that. listen, I think the first, the first part or the first thing you need to realize is you don't need to beat yourself up for <laughs> not showering, not cooking, <laughs> uh, not putting on makeup. I, I don't think you need to beat yourself up. I think you need to to realize that it's it's okay 
to be passionate. That's a wonderful thing. Um, but that you've got to find some balance. So whatever that balance looks like for you, maybe you talk with your friends, you talk with me, of course, mm -hmm. but you find that balance and, uh, and you'll be okay with it. But don't, How? don't, 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 don't rate yourself. I, what, we spend so much time, uh, uh, criticizing ourselves or trying to rate ourselves as either, okay, this was good, this was bad. And I don't know if we need to do that. I mean, I, I think it's important to, to have purpose. I think it's important to show our passion. Because if you're not passionate about something, you're not going to be passionate about anything. So you got to find, you got to find passion in something. But you don't need to, to criticize yourself or beat yourself up. Okay. So you feel like I was criticizing myself and beating myself up? I, I think that we have a tendency as, as human beings to go there. Because that's the type of society we live in. Okay, fair enough. So, how? How do I find balance? What do I do? How do I make myself find that balance? Because I know, I mean, I'm not, I'm not dumb. I know that, okay, you know, I need to go cook supper or I need to go wash clothes or, you know. So, I'm going to answer that as I answer Raylene as well. Because Raylene said, I love to paint, but my anxiety takes over. Then I have unfinished paintings everywhere. I need to figure out how to complete a painting in a setting. And she admires your focus. And she loves your trees. Oh, thank you. So your focus and your trees are the good thing. So it, it's, it's no secret that if we are bothered by something, that it's either we have faulty thinking, faulty beliefs, or it's something that's really pressing upon us that, that we hold true. And that we need to fix. Mimi, you cannot jump up on the table with paint. She's no. trying to do it. No, sugar. No. No. You think she's hungry? She ate already. No, she's fine. So what do you do? Well, uh, Yeah, what do you do? The, the way that I've always tried to handle it. Excuse me. That was horrible. I, I just lied. I haven't always, right? I've learned. Is I share. I share my struggles. I share my worries, I share my stressors with the person that means the most to me, which is you. And I'm not trying to be sappy and all that stuff, but I also have some friends at work that I trust uh, and I share with them. And it's great to get input from, from many people um, to help guide you. And that's what I do. Okay, so you just, and then... I don't hold it. I talk about it, Jen. Okay, so you... Okay, so I'm a math person, right. okay? So I need, like, step-by-step -step procedures. I'm a teacher. So how do I, after I talk about it with somebody, how do I actually, like, put it into practice? So I'm, I'm, I'm going to repeat myself, and if, and if you keep questioning me and ask me questions I don't know how to answer, it's going to be very embarrassing. <laughs> so I'm going to repeat myself. <clears throat> You have a passion, that's wonderful. Share your concerns and your struggles with other people. That's number two, right? Mm -hmm. Number three is repeat. Raylene so, says she'll be back. She's got a call and we are great. Okay, awesome. Um, so well, you're it's, saying... It's all about practicing. It's the, everything that we're doing right here in life is, 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 is a, a, a practice to, to being happier, to being more secure and to being closer, in my opinion, being closer to God. Yeah. And so we're not going to have anything perfect in our life, but that's not the key. The key is to find contentment in the things that we do. Mm -hmm. And so if we, if we have a hard time finding contentment in things that we do, be it work, be it cooking, be it cleaning, then maybe, maybe we need to take a step back. Maybe we need to ask some people about, hey, listen, you know, I have these struggles. What do you go through? What, uh, what, okay. what do you suffer with? So you're not saying just talk to somebody. You're talking about like getting advice from other people too. I'm talking about, uh, remember that old song, He's Not Heavy, He's My Brother? Yeah. Uh, so, no, not really. But... Oh, okay, so I'm an old guy and, and Neil Diamond actually sang that. But it meant that your struggles don't have to be your struggles alone. Me personally, I, like I said, I share them with you. I share them with people at work. I definitely share them with God. And I talk to him as if I'm talking to my very best friend. Because uh, I don't know of any other way of how to get up every single morning at 4.30 in the morning, go to work, give my all, and to come back and be happy and loving and caring. And some days I, I don't. I miss it. 
right? You know that. Mm -hmm. And some days I hit home runs. So uh, we're not in this world alone. We have to share. So if I if I take my struggles and I share them with people, then you think it makes me open up more to like, okay, well, how do I fix this? Well, I want to throw a caveat in there, right? And mm -hmm. so here's some scripture for the for the evening. So do not cast your pearls before swine. And so as we read commentary and we look at what that actually means, it means that the things that are very close to your heart, you don't just put them out there for everyone. So I wouldn't just start sharing with, with the world the closest things to your heart because people are not going to treat it well. Mm -hmm. But the people that you hold close to you, you can share the closest things in your heart. Okay. That makes sense? Yeah. I hope everyone's getting that and... Whether you agree with it or not, I hope you at least well, kind of and open that's mind a place. That's a place like because I work alone every day, like I'm by myself, and so I'm so excited to have this art tribe that I'm starting because right. you know then we can have I can have like conversations with people because I'm by myself here every day, but I think that's great what you said. Um, And I think that's exactly what I needed to hear. I love your little road there. Your... Yeah, isn't it cute? Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a fence, too. How long is this, this video is going to last? <laughs> as long as it takes me to paint the painting. Oh, no, I'm not hurrying. I'm just... <laughs> I'm just... Oops. <laughs> you wrong. All right, let me hurry up and paint the painting. I'm almost done. <laughs> no, I didn't, I didn't mean it that way. So... <laughs> Okay, so I'm going back to my medium brush, and I'm going to add a few little bushes by just dabbing down here. See, I'm almost done, baby. <laughs> I think it's great. You should take longer. <laughs> <laughs> You're so bad. All right, I'm just dabbing and dabbing. Now I got the giggles. Maybe we should have brought wine. To our little, well, our little paint party. I'm not painting, so that's not cool. <laughs> All right, now I just dipped it in the white to kind of soften it up a little bit. So before you finish, give me a nod so I can say one more thing before we say, or I can say it. Okay. Now, okay. Mimi. Mimi's in the bag, mom. Mimi's in the bag. What's that supposed to mean? Come here, baby girl. Oh, she's playing with a bag and she's in it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we are about to wrap it up. I'm trying to stay on the very neutral colors. So, like, cream colors, white, brown, green. That's all I used. And I'm going to add some more. I'm dipping my paintbrush in a lot of white. And I'm going to add some more white because I want it to look a little snowy. But, of course, you don't have to do this if you don't want. You know, we live in Montana now, so that's a daily part of our life is that snow, which I don't mind at all. I love it, actually. So I'm just trying to make all of this a little more snowy, like some little snowy areas here and i'm going to do the same thing on my trees i'm just going to add oops that was like way too much hang on let me fix that i took a bunch of paint off of my paintbrush i'm just going to add some white and add a little bit of snow And I'm even going to come back with um, some brown to put that tree trunk back in there. Because I kind of took it away. But anyway, getting back to the membership group. Remember, we're going to be opening the doors on February 1st and hopefully I have everything figured out by then <laughs> for um, my website. My website is jensdenart.com 
So you can go there now and you can um, look at what I have up and just get an idea of what everything's about. And um, you will have membership for $24 a month. And this is, this is an introductory offer. Um, other companies that have these memberships like this, they're like double the price. But since I'm just starting out and my content is new, if you join at the initial launch time, you will get lifetime membership at this low price and you will be grandfathered in so that once I have more content, you'll still have access to all of the content, but the more content I put in it, the higher the price is gonna be for the membership subscription. And the subscription is gonna close 10 days after it opens, and I'm only gonna open it three times a year. So if you get in now, you will get the absolute lowest price that you can get on the membership and you will be grandfathered into that cry that price for the entire time that you are a member. You have your hand up. Yes, what would I you can like? Ask some questions. Okay, what you got? So when you're doing the paintings, are you going to? And maybe you did this, and I wasn't listening because <laughs> I was staring at the comments. But are you going to explain how to how to paint the tree and how to do mm -hmm. all that? that? Yeah. What what I'm what how I'm to trying. Because I didn't hear that. Part. Yeah, what I'm trying to figure out now is if you and I are going to come on here and talk, I need to also have the opportunity to explain everything that I'm doing throughout the process. But I'm not going to do this all the time, right? No, you're only going to do this once a month. Okay, great. So, um, so the therapy guidance that I offer, i got to make it count. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Once a month. Okay. All right, so I'm wrapping things up. Let me put my little fence here. So look, I want to throw a parting word out there to everyone who's watching. Uh, um, what, what, whether you decide to join this or not, um, find, find, find a purpose, find a passion. And I'm not talking about the purpose of, of, of the job that you're in, or maybe, or being a mom or a wife or a girlfriend or a boyfriend, or whatever. But maybe, what I'm talking about is passion and purpose. Is uh, have a reason to be excited about living your life about being content in your ability to do things uh, I'm not saying that you shouldn't strive and have motivation but be happy with yourself and that's it that's all I wanted to say thank you Michael mm -hmm. we appreciate you coming on today mm -hmm. and we shall talk again very soon I'm still finishing up my painting give me a few more seconds I'm making a fence right here and just very basic fence, nothing special. This paintbrush needs to be thrown in the trash. I left it out to dry without taking the paint off of it. So we definitely have lost a few people. Mm -hmm. Not that means anything. But no, it that's mean normal. That we've been on for almost an hour. Yeah, that's normal because it's a long. That's why it's a replay situation. So, right. but it's fun to do lives and be able to talk to people and ask questions and stuff like that. So, so much fun. All right. <coughs> oh, God bless you. Excuse me. What happened? So I am going to finish off my painting the same way I finish off all of my paintings. I take my black. And I make those rustic looks. Now, this is still wet, so I don't want to do too much of that just yet. But I'll show you the finished product later on. I'm just showing you what I'm doing. I'm going to take this black and I'm going to make it look rustic in all areas. Even on the trees and the, the church and things like that. But I'm going to have to do that once it's dry. So... Thank y'all so much for joining, and until next time, I would love to continue seeing your paintings in the free Facebook group and sharing them, because I 
I want to see what you're doing out there and I want to see if what I'm teaching you is something that you are learning from. So thanks for coming on tonight and we will see you next time. Y'all have a great night. Bye. Keith DeSalle said he enjoyed. Thank you, That's Michael. That's my cousin. Wait, I'm trying to finish it. I know. Have a great evening. I just love talking to you people. Wasn't it fun? Yeah. Are we still live? This is awesome. I don't know if I'm still... Oh, yeah, I'm still...